former Yugoslav international who had spells with Southampton, Bournemouth and Torquay, met the players and the press this morning. He talked about his thoughts and following in the footsteps of long-serving boss Jim McLean and about the Duncan Ferguson transfer saga. I'm an extremely confident person, you know, I was uh, very, very confident as a player and that's exactly going to stay uh, as before. Uh, if I'm not so confident, I will be coming here because uh, I do know that it's a very hard job to, to get after somebody who was uh, so, so much successful. What has actually attracted you to this job? Well, that's a great club. That's a great, great club, you know, well known all over the Europe, uh, all over the world. And uh, knowing that Dundee United is one of the best uh, footballing teams in Britain, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. You have great European experience and, of course, English league experience. What qualities do you think you can bring to the Scottish Premier League? Well, I've obviously been a, a footballer for, for such a long time and, and with such uh, good experience. Uh, I was always a footballer which uh, loved skill and a coach as well. And uh, I'm going to be working ever so much, you know, just with the players on the basic things and the skill. And uh, especially in the training sessions, uh, we have to do something which is uh, closer to the Europe. You know, because different system, different way of playing football. And, and uh, I do know exactly what a Europe have and what we have to change if we want to be successful in Europe. Now, the burning question at Tannerice at the moment, as you well know, is the future of Duncan Ferguson. What sort of influence are you going to have on that? We have to sit down and consider everything and, and see what is the best uh, for the club and uh, for everybody around this area. Because uh, on the one hand, uh, you want to keep the best players. And the other hand, if you got opportunity, you know, to get such a big money, that obviously will be rather foolish not to accept it. So we've got enough time, you know, and we're going to sort it out. Uh, hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, uh, exactly what we're going to do. Will be to settle the Duncan Ferguson saga. Christine Jardin reports. The sun came out occasionally to welcome Ivan Golak to Tanadice. The former Yugoslav international takes over from Jim McLean. His 20 years in the job with the club's most successful, but the new manager is undaunted by the prospect. I feel great, you know, because, uh, well, Mr. McLean done so much for the club and uh, magnificent everything in, in the past 20 years. But I'm very confident, very, very confident. I was a player, as a player, very confident. And uh, that's exactly the way it's going to stay. And uh, I think now we'll be trying to do even better. Striker Duncan Ferguson joined the rest of his teammates for training this morning. Settling his future will be one of the new manager's first tasks. The main thing uh, for me is uh, to, to see the lads and, and, and get on, you know, with the lads. And uh, the next uh, week or so, we're going to sort it out everything with the, with, the, with the Duncan. I'll have a word with the, with the, with the lad and uh, see what we're going to do in the future. Do you think you might be able to persuade him to stay? Well, I have a chance, certainly, you know, but if, if it's uh, in a both interests, you know, mainly the clubs and, and, and the lads, then uh, we have to sit down and consider everything very carefully. With media demand satisfied, Ivan Golak began preparing for the new season. It's now just a month away.